the Joe Rogan experience. I really respect the way you're looking at things. I, I like you. I like the fact that you know that you're in this weird situation and you actually feel guilty for it. Dude. I don't I don't think it's necessarily good to feel guilty, but the fact that you do yeah. is strong because yeah. it shows that you're conscious of how weird it is. Yeah. And you and know we've been working on my guilt a lot and what's funny is like I always want to cancel therapy when nothing's going on, which I guess is when we kind of need it, but I always mm. want to cancel it. And then we start talking about guilt and like, we got it, you know, we got to work on your guilt and whatever. But I'm like, I only call you out of guilt. I don't want to do therapy and I don't even want to talk to you so, about what's going on in my life. So we can't get rid of it too much because guilt makes us do good things. I feel the yes. same way about fear and anxiety also. I do too. Healthy do too. fear, healthy anxiety. That's one of the things I like about weed. That's the I mask. Like, I like to get scared. You like I to do. get scared? Oh, yeah. I like to see the devil. That's my like friend that Joey any- Diaz says I it. I don't like that anymore. I like to see the devil. I do not like that anymore. I like to anymore. be paranoid. I like to freak out. I had a, I had a very great ayahuasca experience that I saw some things. I saw, like, um, I guess people take ayahuasca a couple of times, end up seeing these snakes that end up, mm-hmm. like, taking you underground, and you kind of meet Mama Ayahuasca, and yeah. she walks you through everything. So ayahuasca, the woman that I was seeing... It was at the time where I just kind of started to become uh, like really dedicated to the veganism. And she reached down my throat and pulled out every dead animal I had ever eaten and made me throw it up. But I didn't see the animal that it was. Like I didn't see like a cow or pig or chicken. Like I saw me puking up all the animals. I saw me picking up seals, puking up a seal, not fun. Elephants, all these different animals. And I would see all the animals coming out of my body. And uh, you're not supposed to have like a companion in your ayahuasca trip. It's supposed to be just about you. But I, uh, you know, it like my life, the good perks, I got special treatment. I could have my dog. So I had my dog and I held my dog the entire time. And I and I had a really, really intense trip. But since then, I, I haven't really loved getting high as much as I used to. It like <laughs> unlocked something. Uh, now I'm like, I just don't want to puke up seals again. Well, that sounds like you were dealing with some sort of personal guilt. I was dealing for, with guilt. Yeah, not just guilt for being famous, but also guilt for killing other lives to feed your own life that you already feel guilty for. Yes. It's all psychologically connected. This, yeah. Like what you see through psychedelics yep. is in, it's not just the psychedelic. It's what you bring to the psychedelic. That's yep. why set and setting is so important. Well, you're supposed to be sober, I think, yeah. two weeks before you actually do the ayahuasca, mm. which I was the only one that didn't do that. Yeah, I don't know if that's necessary. I, I got I a little think cray-cray. DMT will take you there no matter what. I've done some I good mean, DMT. I, I saw all my personalities greet me one time on DMT. Wow. All my personalities I saw, and then I was like... I saw me as like a really ugly crier and then like he's <laughs> screaming, yelling at people. And I, yeah. it was nice. I, as I was sitting on the couch, as it started to hit me, they almost kind of like accordioned back into my body. You all know, my personality. The thing about all this craziness and the, the manic behavior <laughs> and all of your guilt and all of your anxiety, there's something that comes out in your music. There's some, there's some of that that comes out in this energy when you sing. And I don't know if it would be there without it. I I, I think all brilliant artists are crazy. Hmm. I mean, I've never met one that isn't. There's something that they have when you know they're they're bottling it all up inside, and whether it's they're playing the guitar, whether they're singing, when they sing, it comes out. Yeah. You know, and when you sing, it comes out. But it's 